When Lionel Messi moved to PSG last summer, it was seen as the biggest transfer in football history. Now, that wasn't just because of his status, arguably as the best player of all time. It was also because he was joining from Barcelona, where he had spent all of his senior career. So naturally, when that deal was announced, it was met with a mixture of emotions. On one hand, you had the fans of Barcelona who were hurt to see their greatest player exit the club. And on the other hand, you had the rest of the world eager to see how the king would perform outside his kingdom. After all, he had already conquered Spain and there were many calls for him to prove himself outside of Barcelona. But after nearly a full season at PSG, he hasn't quite lived up to expectations just yet. And this has raised questions and suggestions about what could be responsible. But of all the explanations that have been brought forward, there is one which stands out in particular. And it's a bit superstitious too. That's right. Because, as funny as it sounds, there have actually been suggestions that Messi was cursed by the Barcelona fans when he left the club, and that this is the reason for his lack of goals. Now, we know we're no experts in magic and we don't know much about the dark arts, except for what we've seen in the movies. But in this video, we'll try to provide answers to the big question, was Messi cursed after his transfer to PSG? Now, this is a special one and we know that you're buzzing to hear all about it. But to get a clearer picture, how about we take a quick look at some of his stats for this season? OK, so far this season, he's scored four goals in 24 league games for PSG. Now, for some context, that's his lowest league tally ever since he first broke into the senior team at Barcelona. Also, in the past 13 seasons, his lowest league tally for a single season was 23 goals. Insane numbers, right? So surely you would agree that there has been a huge drop in numbers. It also doesn't help matters that he has had multiple goal droughts this season and is currently on another run of games without scoring a single goal. Now, for someone who currently holds the world record for the highest number of goals scored in a single calendar year, goal droughts like that are a bit worrying. But despite his lack of goals, do you know what's most surprising about Messi's form this season? It's the fact that he is doing just fine in other aspects of his game. As a matter of fact, in the French league, only Mbappe has more assists than the Argentine this season. And not just that, he's even one of the top assist providers in all of the top five leagues this season. It also seems like his goal-scoring problems only exist in the league, because, as funny as it may sound, he actually scored five goals in his seven Champions League games this season, which is more than his goal tally in the domestic league this season. So going on those stats, some may argue that his season may not be that bad after all. So why then does it appear like he's cursed? Well, to answer that question, we would have to dig up a stat which you don't really notice. The one stat that actually measures bad luck in football. OK, well, maybe not exactly that. But the point is, is there any better indicator of bad luck than the number of times you hit the bar in the season? Uh, well, we don't think so, and for Messi this season, that stat isn't exactly in his favour. Because believe it or not, he has hit the post on at least 10 different occasions this season, and that's just in the league alone. Meaning that no other player in Europe's top 5 leagues has hit the woodwork as much as him this season, and the only person who comes even close is Rafinha with 7. So I guess it's safe to suggest that luck is simply not on his side this season. Which brings us to the big question, is this seemingly bad luck or just another of football's coincidences? Or is it really because of a curse? Well, here's what we think. Considering the fact that he was able to deliver the goals in the UCL and also has many assists in the league, we don't think he was cursed. We also don't think he's in decline. However, what we do think is that this is just another case of a player taking up a new creative role at his new club because for all of PSG's quality, they are really lacking a lot in the creative department and surely someone had to step up to fill that gap. But then again, that's just our opinion. And like we said before, we are by no means experts with magic. So if you still think he was cursed by the Barcelona fans in their moments of pain and feeling of betrayal, then you might just have a point as well. And here's why we say so. Do you remember the story of Bella Gutmann? Well, if you don't, here's a quick reminder. Gutmann is regarded as one of the most successful coaches in Benfica's history. He even guided them to two straight European titles in the early 60s. But things went really sour after that when they turned down his request for a pay rise. He had just won a big title for the club, so you really can't argue with him being angry that he was refused this request. 
So as you would expect, he decided to leave the club, and as it turned out, he wasn't one to go without a bang. So just before he left, he placed a curse on the club that they won't win a single European trophy for the next 100 years. Now that happened in 1962, and although it must have sounded like another empty statement at the time, it now looks like this curse is actually real. That's because, in the past 60 years, Benfica have appeared in 8 different European finals, and guess what? They've won a grand total of zero. Yep, that's right, they lost all 8 of those finals. Now if that's not spooky, then we don't know what is. So maybe, just maybe, curses really do exist, and Messi is the latest victim of a footballing curse. But whatever it is, we sure hope that he rediscovers his scoring touch next season, because we can't wait to have the real Messi back. Ok, well we hope we haven't frightened you with all of that, because now we would like to hear what you think of all of it. Do you think Messi was really cursed by the fans of the club he loves, or did he just have one of those seasons? Do share your opinions with us in the comments section, and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get more cool videos like this one, and we hope to see you next time. Bye bye.